Ask Reddit by not actually J. What do you hate most about your life right now? Not having enough money. And then when I do manage to save money, my damn dog starts limping. That I'm 30 yo and feeling way behind life, whatever that means. I know so many people who didn't discover their careers, meet their person, buy a house, etc. until their late 30s early 40s. I know it feels hard at 30, and I'm sure COVID put you a bit more behind than you'd have liked, but your life isn't over yet. My daily routine of going to work, straight to sleep just to go to work again 3. It's so exhausting. I barely even have time to relax and catch my breath. And the weekends go by so fast. The lost feeling of hope for the future. Growing up I always held hopes for a better tomorrow, a better world, even if it meant far off and I wouldn't get to really get to see it, but perhaps at least the beginnings of it. Now I have no hope, every day I live with dread for tomorrow, every day I wake up wondering if today will be worse than yesterday and just take solace when it isn't any worse, and comfort in the fact I won't be around all that much longer. I was in a place I used to hang out 7 years ago and I remember how happy we were. Joyfully, blissfully happy. Outgoing, fun living and free. Now it's all doom and gloom, poverty and war. That my rent cost me more per month than what I would pay per month for a house. But I can't buy a house because my rent is too expensive for me to put enough money aside for the cash down for a house. Feels like a vicious circle I'm stuck in. You're not kidding. Then when you do want to buy a house, they don't count paying rent on time as a reliable reference for being able to pay your mortgage on time. I've always maintained a relatively youthful appearance. I'm 46. But in the last couple of years I look in the mirror and can't help but say sorry buddy, you look older. Funny how we trip about the one thing we can't really change. At 42, I am seeing the changes on my face more than ever and it is weird. I have made peace that I am now middle aged but I don't necessarily like the skin changes and way it's showing already. I don't want to look 25 but I do want my skin to slow down on the wrinkles. It revolves around work. Wake up at 5.30, out the door by 6 o'clock, at work by 7 o'clock. Clock out at 5.30, home by 6.45, shower dinner, then in bed by 9.30. 5 days a week. Weekends are mostly for rest and recovery. Thinking that is the rest of my life. Rich people are really living their best life and it's not about the money per se but the freedom of time it affords you. If I was rich enough, work would occupy only one stroke three of my time in week at most. That I don't enjoy anything anymore. Nothing makes me happy. And hedonia is the word I think. My habit of procrastinating. No matter how much I try. I just can't seem to shake it off and get stuff done when I should. It's like my brain goes, nah, let's do it later, and I'm just here nodding along. ADHD, baby. Let's set some horrifying deadline for ourselves so we can get a flurry of hyperfocus at the last minute and slam that project at the finish line. It's an exhausting way to live. I need a nap. Maybe later. Being broke. I guess I mostly hate the world I live in. Same. I have a nearly 7 year old and while I love him forever and always, I have a lot of regrets about bringing him into this mess. I wish I had had a deeper understanding of not just geopolitics but also just how quickly we're careening towards oblivion environmentally. Anyone who is considering having kids really needs to understand how dire things are going to get. My poor life choices from college to now has lead me to be in the financial hellhole I'm in because lack of maturity, lack of foresight, and lack of self-control. I can only blame myself. This is not a woe is me type deal. This is just a sad reality check I have to remind myself every day because I'm my own worst enemy. Slowly getting my shit together. Slowly.
I feel is so hard except it was after college for me because I moved out from my parents and discovered the joy of credit cards. Needless to say I was not mature enough to handle it and treated it as free money. It's a slow, painful process getting back on your feet from a financial hellhole. And it's hard living with it every day, because I also blame myself since it was literally my choices that led me here. But, we got this. Every day is a step closer to being out of our mess. Bad health. It impacts all aspects of life, work, relationships, opportunities, life path, plans for children. It sucks and it also sucks that so many people take it for granted. I came searching for this comment. If my health was good I'd have the world. Everything. Real. In a holding pattern, a permanent midlife crisis. OMG so true. I sympathize with you. It's just treading water permanently. I'm 46, with a 2.5 year old. I have a job that I don't like, and that barely pays the bills. But I can't quit because I'm a dad with a mortgage. I don't do anything that I really enjoy. It's just a treadmill. Being poor. Being poor makes me feel like I have no control over my life or my future. Cancer. Stupid thing comes and invited, kick its ass. I'm getting upset that every single business I interact with is slowly trying to, or is taking claim to money I once used to be able to comfortably save. Corporate and personal greed from coffee shops asking for 20% tips on overpriced and poor quality food, to your edisha services and buying any types of tickets with hidden fees, transaction fees on paying bills online, delivery charges, service charges, the charge for having to charge you charge. Everywhere is dipping into our bank accounts for $5 here and an extra $10 there. Now that everywhere is doing it I feel like I'm just always handing over funds for I don't even know what anymore. Would you like to round up to donate? Corporations way of donating money that is not theirs. Waking up in the morning without any sleep. I just plain hate waking up that I was ever born in the first place. Yeah, we never asked for this life, and we're all doing the best we can. My job. Harassment and unpaid extra hours. Hard to think about anything else. If you want to DM me I can listen about the harassment. I've been there and wish I'd had someone to help me when I went through it. Finances. Wife and I have different attitudes towards them. We're doing okay but also just kinda treading water, and something always comes up to sabotage things just when things seem to be looking up. Everything. I'm not suicidal and I am living a survivable life. The two broken screw I have in my ankle. It hurts when I walk. I think I might be in love with someone who doesn't love me back. Same. It's hard.